As a clinician, of course, the major interest is that you see a lot of cats with panleukopenia and that you have to treat cats with panleukopenia and unfortunately the prognosis is not very good. So about half, about half of the cats with panleukopenia die even with very intense treatment. Well, um, there is a good vaccine against panleukopenia. Um, the problem is that, first of all, not every cat is vaccinated. So we see a lot of indoor-only cats. Adult cats that are kept, kept in apartments in the city of Munich. And the owners think that a cat that lives only indoors doesn't need to be vaccinated. And so these cats are never vaccinated and they might um, get in contact with panleukopenia, which is incredibly stable in the environment, and then develop the disease. So that's one problem area. And the other problem area is um, in shelter situations, breeder situations, where there are a lot of young cats that are not protected by vaccination yet. And there you may see outbreaks of panleukopenia in such a situation. Well, I think these guidelines provide a lot of information on panleukopenia virus and panleukopenia in cats. Um, we, of course, focus on the vaccination. And there are some important aspects concerning vaccination. First of all, that every cat needs to be vaccinated. It's a core vaccine. And then it's very important to really protect kittens with a proper basic vaccination. And um, so in addition to um, recommend vaccination at 8 and 12 weeks in certain circumstances it may be really crucial to add another vaccination at 16 weeks um, because kittens may still have maternal antibodies until the age of 12 or even 16 weeks and in these cases it's really important to have another vaccine at 16 weeks. We know now that in an adult cat duration of immunity um, is quite long against the disease, especially in panleukopenia. And so the recommendation is in an adult cat to vaccinate every three years and that this is enough and yearly vaccinations are not necessary.